This British tanker is now in Iranian custody, as announced on state TV. A British oil tanker called Stena Impero was stopped while passing through the Strait of Ormuz because of failing to observe international maritime regulations at the request of Ports and Navigation Authority of Ormuzgan province. The tanker was guided to the coast after being stopped and was handed over to the Ports and Navigation Authority. Iran had two tankers, one British flagged, the other Liberian. We will respond in a way that is considered but robust. And we are absolutely clear that if this situation is not resolved quickly, there will be serious consequences. Iran later announced the Liberian tanker had been warned and released. News of the tankers being seized in Iran broke shortly before U.S. President Donald Trump left the White House for his New Jersey country club. His reaction was muted. And we'll be working with the U.K. They'll have a new prime minister soon, which is a good thing. And we'll be working with the U.K., but we have no written agreement, but I think we have an agreement which is longstanding. That was in contrast to his remarks just a few hours earlier, where he showed his usual bravado. We hope for their sake they don't do anything foolish. If they do, they will pay a price like nobody's ever paid a price. This all comes as the two countries dispute an earlier incident in the Strait of Hormuz, where the president insists the amphibious ship, the USS Boxer, was threatened by an Iranian drone, so they took it down. In response, Iran released this drone video that it says proves their drone conducted surveillance and returned to base. And now news of the tankers reportedly taken in Iran, likely a response to the British detaining an Iranian tanker weeks earlier. Another clear escalation, but the U.S. Secretary of State is signaling a way out. In the end, uh, President Trump will make the decision about how to proceed. He's made clear we're prepared to conduct negotiations with no preconditions. The Iranians continue to say, well, they'll talk, but only if and only if the United States does something. Uh, we, we need them to come to the table. It's the right way to resolve these challenges. Iran says it will talk if U.S. sanctions are lifted first. So for now, the standoff continues. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.